Hello guys, it's Jake Alaba and one of the best things you can do to change the way that TF2 feels and improve the way the game runs is by changing some settings that can only be changed in the console command section of the game. So today I've got 9 console commands to improve TF2. Straight off the bat as well, I'm going to sound a little bit rough, but run down, I've got the cold, it's been a brutal two weeks now, so uh, I do forgive that. But yeah, so if you don't know how to use console commands, uh, I'll show you on screen right now, there should be a little screenshot of in options, you need to go and tick the box to allow console commands, and then it's the button between the one button and the tab button on most keyboards, and I'll send a photo of that so you know what it is. I don't actually know what the button's called, and it's such a weird, unused button. That you'll know what I mean. It's usually the console command button for almost every game known to man because it's that un unused. So you press that and that's how you open up console commands. You can do any of these in game or out of game. So number one. This is CL interp 0 or 1. This affects how the game renders the position of characters. Now the wiki would recommend 0 0.033 for hit scan weapons which being like bullets and fire and stuff or 0. 0152 for projectile weapons. I have mine set to 0 for consistency though and the default is 1. So when you when you open this up your setting is currently at 1. So it affects the way that projectiles and bullets collide with the target. Uh, I just have mine to 0 and that, that's just a healthy middle ground for me and it just affects the way that projectiles and visually things make contact and it just it, it helps a little bit and uh, it's really useful. Uh, just a little disclaimer as well, none of these things are against the UGC or the ESTL rules, so if you're a competitive player, none of these are against the rules. Number two, CL underscore ragdoll underscore fade underscore time, and then space and you put in a time, as in seconds. So this affects how long it takes for a ragdoll to disappear. When I'm playing competitive, I turn ragdoll time down to one second to keep the screen clear. I don't completely get rid of them because sometimes I don't know if people have died or if they've just ducked or if they've fallen down on a bit of a decline on a map. Um, the default time is 15 seconds for a body slash ragdoll to stay and um, just if you if you want to turn them down it makes the game run a little bit smoother but for competitive TF2 players as well it's just a bit helpful to keep your uh, screen decluttered. Number three, now this is a more well known one, there is a few in here that people I think will know a bit more about. And that is FOV underscore desired space 90. Probably the most well known command. Uh, this affects how much of the screen your character can see. So a player with the max of 90 can see much more than a player with the default of 70. And you should be able to see that in the screen. 70 is quite zoomed in, whereas 90 is zoomed out, and it just means you got a wider range of view. Number four, HUD underscore combat text underscore batching one. This affects how numbers of above an enemy will appear. If you set set this with the default of zero, then the damage is separated, meaning so if you shoot someone uh, once and with a pistol, then it will show like 17 damage, and then again it will show 17 damage. Whereas if you change this setting to say one instead of zero, it will give you the total number of damage that you've done to them which is so much easier for um, calling out for a competitive and just so you know how much damage you've dealt in total. Number five, HUD underscore combat text zero or one. This is for the very few that don't like the damage text above enemies. I know some people really don't like it. They just they don't like having the numbers in front of them. They just want them to be gone. It's something I don't personally use, but I know a few friends that really don't like having um knowing how much damage they've done. I find it a bit strange, but some people prefer it. Um, so maybe you're filming a sketch and you want to hide uh, the damage counter or you're doing a funny bit or something like that. Zero is set it off, one leaves it on. Number six, HUD underscore say text underscore time and then seconds. So this is really helpful for community servers and for servers with lots of text chat that's annoying you like um, like Skyle servers where they spam like loads of rainbow text at, at you. And it's also really handy for YouTubers um, to make racist or hateful messages uh, less visible. This affects how long the messages in the chat can sit in game chat boxes. Uh, the default is set to 12 seconds. If you want no messages, then you could like just set it to one second and you'll never see them. And uh, if, if I, I don't know if zero works, 
but you, you just set it as low or as high as you want, and it basically stops people from having loads of um, text messages staying in chat for way too long uh, if they're saying something like offensive or hateful. Really helpful sometimes. Number seven, view model underscore desired, and then a number between 75 and about 120. Also a very well-known one, but not as well-known as the um, FOV. And this affects the distance that your weapon is drawn from. Now, the higher you set the number, the more of the weapon and your arms you'll see. And sometimes you see some YouTubers where you can see, like, their arms that are, like, cut off because it, it doesn't render anymore. Uh, I have mine set to about 95, but anywhere between 85 and 120 is is usable. 75 is quite zoomed in. It's, I think 75 is stock. So um, between 85 and 120... Um, is, is is usable, it's down to personal preference. Play around with that one. Number eight, record. And the other one is stop, so it's a two-parter. Uh, these two commands can be used to record demos. Now, most of the footage you see in videos like Lucky Luke videos are uh, demo recordings, not OBS, not Fraps, not NVIDIA recording or anything. Uh, it's a very low demand on your computer, but it doesn't give you many options other than start and stop and basic stuff. Uh, I'll link a full article on TF2 demos in the description below if you want to have a look. And uh, note they aren't they aren't the same as like the replay system or anything like that. If you play competitive TF2, uh, you have to use them if you're a team captain. And um, a lot of team players will still use them anyway just in case something cool happens. And it's how you can have a lot of free roam when it comes to recording in TF2. And um, yeah, it, it, it has its uses. And number nine, SV underscore use underscore steam underscore voice zero. This was a godsend for me. This was amazing. It was huge. This turns voice chat on and off. Uh, this has sort of made my YouTube videos so much easier. I, 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 I would, I, I reckon, you know, most of my old TF2 videos would have been There'd have been so much more footage. I mean, I used to I used to film on two for it all the time, and I used to have to cut most of the footage because a kid screaming down the mic as soon as they joined the map, or someone saying something racist or hateful, or just you know going over my commentary. I used to record live. Zero turns voice chat off. One turns it on, and that's the same for um uh, uh, I think CS:GO as well. So you can turn voice chat off so you don't get any hateful stuff, especially for recordings. So that's it guys, thanks for watching the video. I mentioned in the last video um, uh, that me, oh god damn, I, I completely lost what I was doing. I mentioned in the last video that me and a group of friends and family are working on a clothing range called Scum Apparel. If you want to show some support, go check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, some designs are on the screen for you now. It's a motifi, um, motif um, scheme that we're trying to run at the moment. If you like the look of the designs or have any ideas, then hit me up and... That's it. I've been Jay Caliber. I'll catch you next week for next week's video. Adios.